scripting for GIS applications. This is a class at the University of Alaska Fairbanks and it's spring semester 2013. This week I want to teach you how to use the geoprocessing tools in the Python window that comes with ArcGIS. So if we go to the geoprocessing menu we have the Python window and basically it understands all the geoprocessing tools as well as all the Python modules that we can run. So let me go over some examples that we'll work on for our homework this week. So here's some vegetation polygons in the home range of some animals home range. And what we want to do is write a script that computes the percentage of vegetation type by area within this home range polygon. So basically we write our script in the Python window and then execute our script and we execute our Python code in this Python window and when we're all done we have a table so it's listing by vegetation type the percentage of the area in each vegetation type and it's sorted so it's sorted descending so vegetation type 9 was the most common vegetation type and it occurred in 13.3 uh, percent of the area Okay, here's another example where we have watershed basins and they're numbered uh, C1, C2, C3, etc. And we have another layer of permafrost polygons. So these are the permafrost polygons. And what we want to know is within each watershed basin, what's the percentage permafrost? And then sort the percentage of permafrost within each basin so it's sorted in a descending order. So we run our Python script in this Python window and it basically runs the geoprocessing intersect tool and then it calculates the percentage of permafrost in each polygon and then it uses the sort tool to sort by percent descending. So uh, watershed basin C3 was about 58% permafrost and watershed basin P5 was less than 1% permafrost. Okay, so here's another example. We've got a line layer representing streams, and we've got a point layer representing salmon locations. And for each stream, we want to know the total number of chum salmon, coho salmon, and sockeye salmon. So for example, for Moose Creek here, there's a total number of two chum salmon, zero coho, and zero sockeye. So once again we could write a simple Python script in our geoprocessing Python window and that would create a table of the number of salmon by species by stream name and we could sort it by stream. So we run our Python script and then we come up with a table so by stream the number of salmon by species. So for example, for Bear Creek, only chum salmon were in Bear Creek and there were two of them. And for Flat Creek, we had um, one chum salmon, 24 coho, and three sockeye salmon. Okay, here's another example where we have some vegetation polygons. And what we wanna do is simulate a lightning fire that starts in a black spruce polygon. So the first thing our Python script will do is make a layer representing the black spruce polygons. So these are all the black spruce polygons. And then the Python script will randomly select one of those polygons and ignite the, that one polygon on fire. So here we have the polygon in red was randomly selected using the Python um, random module. And then the script will burn all adjacent polygons as long as they're black spruce polygons. So for example, this polygon will burn because it's adjacent and then we're going through a loop. The second time through the loop, this polygon will burn. And these won't burn because they're not adjacent. They're not touching a burning black spruce polygon. 
So when we're all done with the simulation, this area in black is the area that burned and they were all flammable black spruce polygons that were adjacent to this initial black spruce polygon that was ignited by the simulated lightning strike. And then we could run the script the second time and randomly pick a different black spruce polygon and then burn the landscape for all the black spruce polygons that are touching that randomly selected black spruce polygon. Okay, here's another example. We have snowpack extent, and the first layer is the actual extent of snowpack on the ground for five weeks, starting at week one, it would be this polygon, all the way up to the actual snow extent at week five would be this polygon. And then we have the modeled snow extent, which is predicted by week. And what we want to do is compare the hectares on the ground in week one compared to the model's prediction of hectares in week one, and then do that in a loop all the way to week five. And then basically what's the overlap hectares between the actual snow on the ground and the model snow on the ground. So we would go to our geoprocessing window and run a geoprocessing script to make that type of analysis. And after we run our script, for every week we have the actual hectares of snow on the ground and the model's prediction of hectares of snow on the ground. And then the overlap of those two polygons in terms of hectares. Okay, so that's what I'm going to teach you this week is how to use this geoprocessing Python window. And then the module in ArcGIS is called ArcPy. So basically you can import ArcPy in a Python script outside of ArcGIS, or you can run ArcPy in ArcMap using this Python window.